But one of the things you're used to us always showing you is, hey, pay attention to these things on the maintenance. We still hear and we see things that come through the shop and we kind of scratch our heads and go, boy, who's paying attention? If you don't have the maintenance book, you really ought to get it if you're doing your own maintenance. As an example, let me show you a couple things here we found on two airplanes just this week that have come here for condition inspections. Well, the first one we'll talk about are the P-Mags. This is the from E-Mag Air. Okay, there's a service bulletin out there. You're supposed to check these annually for actual play. So Darren, I don't know if you can get a close-up of this. I'm gonna move this. You can see how much actual play we have there in that gear. That is really, really a problem. So uh, you don't wanna just check timing on these things annually. You wanna pull them out and check for that. So in this case, we're gonna send this back to EMAG Air and they'll take care of that and send it back, it'll be like new. We have two of these on the same airplane. The first one was okay. You might get thinking, oh man, the other one's probably okay too. Check them both, okay? Then just remember when you put them back in, propeller goes at top dead center or two degrees after if you're having some heating problems and then blow into the tube and time it. The instructions are in the manual. The other thing we noticed on another airplane Walk over here and show you something. So on your starter ring gear, and we've talked and shown you how to replace these over time, but you're not a habit to kind of run your finger across these. And if your finger comes back with cuts, something's going on. I don't know if you can zoom in and see that real clear there, Darian, yeah, but you can the actually there. see the ridges right there. So something's wrong and you want to chase that down and figure out what's going on. In this case, what we can see is this starter here is just worn out. The, the teeth there are worn out completely so that they're beginning to auger into the starter ring gear. So we gotta replace this starter. So it's just simple things like this you wanna check when you're doing your routine maintenance or your annual inspection so you don't get stuck somewhere when you load up the family to go on that trip. Thanks for watching and thanks for what you guys are doing. Thanks, Vic.